Hello, this is Dr. Huffstater, and today I wanted to describe to you a very important principle as it relates to your cardiovascular health and as it relates to cholesterol. And this has been on my mind to do a little video like this for a couple weeks because uh, two weekends ago I was with one of our uh, one of our office assistants here doing a screening at a local uh, health fair, and. Uh, in that screening area, the, the booth that had the most business around it, as it were, the most sort of crowd waiting to get screened, was uh, was the cholesterol booth, the booth that was taking a little bit of a little bit of blood and doing a quick cholesterol screening. And the fact that they had so many people hovering around them, interested in having their cholesterol screened, has less to do with the science, and less to do with the physiology and less to do with everything we know about, about biochemistry and more to do with, with the aggressive and expensive marketing campaigns that have been put, put forth by uh, not only the pharmaceutical industry but, the, but the, those in the medical uh, industrial uh, complex that, that profit from treating cholesterol. So I, I, wanted to, I wanted to give you just one simple principle that, that you could take home about cholesterol that I think is really important to remember. And that is this. Uh, we know that the, the, the majority of the cholesterol in your body, well over 90%, uh, read that almost all the cholesterol in your body, is there because the liver manufactures it. It's not there because you ate too much bacon. It's not there because you ate too much butter. It's there because the liver manufactures this cholesterol. And cholesterol, as it turns out, is a very important component of every single cell in your body. Um, now, now look, your body is a, a self-healing, self-regulating, uh, self-maintaining organism, and it's constantly endeavoring to keep you healthy. Uh, nothing the body does is by mistake. Nothing the body does is in error. It makes no mistakes. It doesn't want to kill you early. Its only job is to promote you and promote your health. That's what it does, and it's good at it, and it's intelligent. Now, when your body elevates the amount of cholesterol in the blood, and your body does it, it doesn't, it's not because you ate, again, not because you ate too much bacon, your body does it. It produces cholesterol and it's in the blood. Uh, now, when it does this, look, it does it for a reason, okay? It doesn't do it because it's, it's lost its mind and it wants to kill you early. It does it for a reason. And when it raises its cholesterol level, and you have more cholesterol in the blood, and you have cholesterol placking in the arteries, which is what we're told is the primary concern when you have elevated cholesterol, is that it tends to plaque in the arteries. Well, why would your body lay down this cholesterol along the walls of the arteries? Well, I'll tell you why. It is the primary uh, repair mechanism, that is the, the very first repair mechanism that is employed when there is damage to blood vessels. That's why cholesterol tends to lie down in blood vessels in areas where, it's, where, where, there's, where there's the most turbulence and the most pressure, the most, the most uh, stress upon the blood vessels in the aorta, in the uh, coronary arteries, etc. <clears throat> It's here where you lay down the cholesterol. Why? Because those blood vessels are becoming damaged. That's the reason why. Now we can, through medications, reduce the amount of cholesterol in your blood, but does that do anything about the damage that's in the blood vessels? No, it doesn't do anything about the damage that's in the blood vessels. In fact, that's one of the reasons why when you lower cholesterol and when you take these sorts of drugs that artificially lower cholesterol, what does it increase your risk of? It increases your risk of uh, hemorrhagic strokes. It increases your risk of aneurysm. In short, it increases your risk of diseases caused by blood vessel fragility, fragile blood vessels. So, so the, the answer to the question is not uh, lowering cholesterol. The answer to the question is improving the, the, the integrity of the blood vessels. And when you do that, and this isn't like a theory, uh, this is the truth. When you do that, cholesterol levels will naturally come down because there is no need to repair the damaged blood vessels. When blood vessel integrity is high, cholesterol levels naturally will come down, and that's the way it works. 
Uh, why has this been ignored? Uh, in my most sort of cynical moments, I might say because there's not so much money in it. Uh, and that's probably true. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is the truth. So if you have concerns about your cholesterol, and if you're taking a statin drug, beware, you're doing more harm than good. Uh, and your problem is not elevated cholesterol. Elevated cholesterol is your body's compensatory reaction to the problem. And the problem is damage to blood vessels, more than likely. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope this enlightens you. I'll look forward to doing one of these soon. God bless.